Good morning. Vietnam. We got here late last night. Well, not late, but after dark. Um, but the drive wasn't too bad. We just took it slow, which the road requires anyways. Um, just kind of took whatever campsite was easy to get into. So this morning we are having some tea. Greg uh, tried to find some whales. I think a whale was giving birth and I was going to get it for Nat Geo. <laughs> I uh, took the drone up and couldn't find the whale. Yep, so um, we're just going to see what the day brings. The surf isn't supposed to really come until tomorrow, but there might be some fun ones. There's some rock obstacles here, so it requires a bit of swell and a little bit higher tide sometimes. It's pretty treacherous right now. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, what's up, bud? Hi. See, that thing doesn't hurt you. It won't hurt you. You gonna lick it? Hello from camp. Uh, so we got set up. We're in our awning shade structure and we ended up finding the whales after all. So got some cool clips of that and then decided to go for a beach walk. It's very windy now, so we're just kind of hanging out, enjoying that. We also have a dead puffer fish, puffer fish project <laughs> going on right now. <laughs> Say that one five times fast. Dead pufferfish project? You don't have to say dead, just pufferfish oh, project. Oh, pufferfish project. <laughs> five times. Yeah. Okay. Um, we found a cute little pufferfish on the beach and we are drying it out on a rock. We found two. Yeah. One was already too firm to shape into the right mold. It was very... This one, freshy. Yeah. We're going to try to see if we can get it symmetrical. Ooh. So that's where we're at. Looks like they're coming. Low tide though. Just waiting on wind, tide, and swell. Solid enough. Newborn humpback whales are born a pale gray, but darken within a few days of being born. Immediately after birth, the mother will hold the baby whale up to the surface for its first breath. The calf can swim right away, and though it won't have the same level of grace as its mom, it will try to swim, dive, and play.
wind finally died down. Ish. The wind finally cleaned up. Ish. So, <laughs> I think Dragon's gonna go out. Oh, Buena suerte. Greg is having pork chop tacos and having a salad with our dinner guest, Lucky. After many hours of surfing, Greg was exhausted, but there were still waves to be had, and even the whales knew it was a great day.
That'd be afternoon for the camp. What are you laughing about? We often get asked why we didn't put a fancy $2,000 awning on our van this time. Well, let me show you. <laughs> So hard that we can't even open the door. <laughs> Possibly. You going out there? I'm gonna open it for a second just to demonstrate. <laughs> we decided this might be about at the limit for this uh, setup though. We have four poles with two guy lines each holding it up. And it's shaking the van pretty good, but it's holding, holding so far. So far. We did have one stake, uh, one of the big metal ones ripped out yesterday and went flying. She took one for the team and grabbed it midair, saved the van. Uh, but we buried them like two feet deep in the sand now and put rocks on top. I think it's holding. I think the, the tarp will be the first thing to explode. So even though it's a little harder to put up, it works. We spent the rest of the day inside the van hiding from the wind. You want to tell the people why you're up at 5.45 in the morning? Well, we're technically up at 5. You're ready to surf at 5.45 in the morning. I feel like surfing currently feels like hunting. <laughs> wake up, try to be really quiet, and get ready to not wake up anybody else or scare off animals, and then go out before the sun comes up. Why do you like to be first in the water, though? Cause there's too many people. Uh -huh. So, I'd rather get out there and get a couple before the crowd gets there. Craig was about to walk off and our morning snuggle buddy showed up. And I'm unimpressed with the surf. He disappointed <laughs> that I got ready, so I decided to hang out for a few. Oh, did I stop? Excuse me. That's a spot on. petting the dogs for a bit, waiting for the waves to arrive, and they have not. But Greg's already suited up, so he's gonna go out and see what happens. We love to camp right on the beach, and a lot of our footage may make it seem like we have the whole beach to ourselves, but the reality is that it's becoming harder and harder to find that secret spot. What was once a secluded beach on the day we arrived is now a small city of surfers that was seemingly built overnight. This is why it is so important that everyone packs out all of their trash and human waste to keep the beaches clean. How was your surf session this morning? It was okay. Not great waves. Yeah, the wind's gotten a little better for it, but it got pretty crowded again. So we had some breakfast, and now we're going for a beach walk. We're gonna check on my pufferfish project, if it's still there. Oh, it's there. It didn't blow away in the wind yesterday. It blew a little bit. Approaching the spot where I left the puffer fish. Next to it looks like it's gone. It's gone. So I left it right here. 
Someone either took it or it blew away. Someone found our bounty. We're just out here having a little afternoon snack and Greg's getting ready for surf session number two of the day. We've got cows on the beach. Greg's taking out the shortboard here. How do you feel about it? Yeah, that's up. I'm tired. Okay, we are now on the side of the road, filling up our tires. So we've been at Nine Palms for six days. We are running out of food, so we're making a trip into town and I need to get some work done. And uh, we will see what's next. So that concludes this segment of our Baja adventure. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please leave us a comment, like, share. We appreciate you. Hope you're enjoying this trip down south.